For a long time, I've been wanting to make custom 3D printed keycaps, but the problem is they weren't smooth enough. They just kind of felt weird under my fingers when typing and I just really didn't like them. But thankfully, vapor smoothing comes to the rescue. So come on this ride with me as I show you how to do it. First of all, I want to give a quick shout out to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk more about that later and also about this mysterious package from them that definitely has something to do with this project and it's going to make it even better in the end. So first, let's talk about the basics of vapor smoothing and how it even works. So many plastics and thereby also filaments made out of them are solvable to certain chemicals. For example, ASA and ABS are solvable by acetone. This is really nice since this is pretty cheap and easy to get. And as soon as this acetone comes in contact with, for example, ABS or ASA, it will dissolve it. So if you're putting it in a full bath, the whole 3D print will actually dissolve and you will have nothing. But of course, that's not what we want. We just want to smooth it with the vapor. So like that, we'll just have a little bit of the vapor in the air and it'll dissolve the first or first couple layers depending on how long you leave it in there and then it's going to settle back down and it's going to have a way smoother finish. And like that, you have a really easy post-processing method that works super well and quickly without you having to do much. As I said before, the filaments commonly used for vapor smoothing are either ASA or ABS. These are super nice because they easily react to acetone, which is cheap and easy to get. You can also vapor smooth a lot of other filaments like PLA, but here it's a lot harder, at least for me, to get the solvents, so it's not really practical or worth it um, for most people, I think. So now let's get to the process. First, I'm gonna do some experiments on how to best print my keycaps without any vapor smoothing at all, because vapor smoothing can definitely help and give that finishing touch but if your print has a really bad problems it's not the magic one that's gonna solve all your problems and make everything look perfect so it's really important to get a as good as you can first print out and then have those finishing touches with vapor smoothing with these keycaps I actually have quite the challenging model first of all this is obviously a multicolor print since I want the letter to be set into the print so I actually know what I'm typing after that this also is kind of a difficult model because here obviously we're having that little lip in the front that is super hard to print but I think it looks amazing so I really want it. In the end I printed these right side up. I used I used a normal pattern and while I tried ironing that actually ended up blurring the text so I turned that off in the end although it did get a little bit of a better surface finish. Originally I did a version with support on the inside, which was nice because it led to a little bit of a better finish, but also it tore out the stem. So now I'm doing it without support and it's also a little bit faster to print. And as I said before, we're now going to open this package by today's sponsor, PCBWay. So this here is a fully custom keyboard CNC'd out of aluminum. This is actually my own design and this is also the reason why I'm making all of these custom keycaps as these are some non-standard keys that I put on there and so I can't just buy them but I have to make them myself. This is full aluminum and it's just the quality of it is perfect. And that's what I love PCB way for. I could have never made something like this myself and whenever I have ideas or projects that require me to do things that I could never do because I don't have the tools, I don't have the knowledge, that's where PCB way comes in. So what I really love is that they don't just like stupidly make whatever you upload, but they have their specialists that check over all of the designs. Originally, I had a different design that I wanted to make and they actually sent me an email that, hey, you can see and see that because it doesn't work for the machine. So I had to redesign a little bit and then this beauty came out. And I'm really happy that they have the support, especially for people like me that aren't, you know, super engineers and know everything about that kind of stuff so it's great and with all the needs that you have where you can make it yourself be it cnc machining laser cutting really huge 3d prints where you don't have the size of 3d printer at home all of that is where pcb way can help you so check out the website in the description down below and yeah if ever you have those needs go to pcb way they can definitely help you 
So these prints now actually came out really nice and I think I won't do much better in terms of printing quality. And now I'm gonna try the vapor smoothing and just do different times for each of them to kind of figure out what is the ideal length to leave it in there for the best quality. If you're doing this, make sure to put it in somewhere that won't be dissolved by the acetone itself. In the end, I ended up getting a glass storage box and that works really well because that has no problems with acetone. So now that I have everything prepared, we'll actually do the vapor smoothing. The first thing I do is to put some kitchen roll in the top of the glass where we can eventually then put the acetone in so it can evaporate from there. Also I made this little grill so the vapor can come from every side and smooth it evenly. When working with acetone it's really important to have the proper protection so here I have some gloves and also like a breathing mask which is gonna help a lot already. Also you should do this in a well ventilated area so outside is definitely best but also right now outside it's too cold so I'll have to open this window which is still not gonna be great because it's winter out but yeah those are my precautions that I'm taking you do you. I've now placed it next to an open window which at least will provide some ventilation and then I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna put this in 15, 30, then 45, 60 and I think 90 minutes just to test which time in the vapor will get the best results for me because you can not do enough vapor smoothing but you can also overdo it and that's going to be interesting. Here you can see how big the difference is before and after. After a good amount of experimentation I can tell you that 60 minutes for me was the sweet spot to leave them in the vapor but this really depends on probably how much acetone you put in the jar and also might depend on whatever you're printing so you might have to test this for yourself or just figure it out a little bit. Behind me you can see the finished keycaps. I had to make all of these especially for what I wanted and the size I want. So these are one of one and I'm gonna spare you the whole process because it's really annoying but I will upload these so if you want to check them out yourself you can. Personally I do think they look really beautiful but the design is also pretty hard to print. So now that everything's set up I'm gonna print all of these overnight and then tomorrow we're vapor smoothing it and assembling the keyboard. So I just got done with the print now we're gonna vapor smooth them and see how the end result looks. In my trial runs I did this with a glass but that was just honestly to be able to show it better and show you better. Now I'm doing this in this little baking pan tin thingy because it's just gonna have more volume and you know I can do all of them at the same time. So now after a little bit of assembly I think the keyboard looks really good. One thing that I can see is if you're doing vapor smoothing it's really hard to get a really consistent finish and that led to some of the keys being super I'll call it overcooked so they were very very smooth and even lost details. Others being perfect the way I'd wanted them and others just being a little underdone. So I think this is a really important tool in your toolkit that can be super helpful. But if you're doing one, you know, it's super easy to get it right. But if you're doing many of them and trying to get it uniform, things get a little more tricky. If you're interested in the keycaps that I designed and made for this video, then check the link in the description down below. And other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to buy any 3D printing supplies, then please check out the affiliate links in the description down below. And it really helps me keep this channel running and make cool and free videos for all of you. But I'll see you in the next video and thank you so much. Bye.